All right. Okay, I got the chain box back together. That was a lot of work. Oh my gosh, degreasing that thing. I should have changed ethnicities, man. That was just wiped out black. Um, so anyways, got the chains in there. Big difference, man. Big difference. I mean, look at that. There's like no play in these things now. You know. But, I guess, what a lot of you guys are telling me that they will handle quite a bit of slop in there, you know. So, these are tight now. You know, you can even see the springs extended pretty good. So, I cleaned up the rust, painted some rust on it. So, now I'm getting ready to go in with the engine right over there. But, what I noticed first I'm going to have to do is right down here on the mounts when I put that bracket right in here I extended a little too far I might have to trim that bracket back I think I got a reinforced bracket on the side here that I put on the power plate mount so probably going to have to go over there which is you know that bracket I put under there I have to trim it back a little bit yeah this is like I say right about the center I got to cut it I got to cut that well off here and just kind of lose that part of it as it goes in there and because of what I was saying just in the, in the previous clip one thing I would have done differently too on this the see this little copper you know, shield that I made when I had to pop that hole for the starter because this duct was actually into the starter. So I made a nice little shield. Everything else worked out right. But, you know, what I would have done differently is at the end of this on the inside of it, I would have bent me a little tang that would have kind of hooked up behind, you know, give a little kind of this kind of grip on the existing plastic, you know. So I, I would just bent one little tang up in the back. But everything else came out okay. You know, I still got it in there. You know, silicone in there. So just something I would have done different. Alright, that took about a half hour grinding, so I suggest you don't make that mistake. But the only way to get it off is to grind it, so. Anyways, I throw a little paint on there. Now one thing I'm not sure if this clutch has to be on or off uh, before it goes in. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Maybe I'll just throw it on to be safe. Uh, so, getting closer. Alright, tightened up the little bell shape on whatever you call this cap you know, pounded up that little tab on there and put some anti seeds. I kinda hate that stuff, it turns up everywhere when you get it on. It seems to be on your clothes and everything, but I got anti seeds compound on there, I'm sure it's necessary. So get ready to put that on. I gotta trim the bolt about a eighth of an inch. Alright, I'm all greased up. Pretty much should be ready to go. Uh, one thing I wanted to make a note of too, if you can see this right here, that's actually like a plastic kind of Teflon that goes over top is the frame piece and when the chains wear it stops it from eating up your, your the little cross member shafts there so these local uh, Argo guys taught me about that stuff so uh, Argo mechanics and that so I'm sure the rock doctor knows that he seems to be one of the sharpest ones out there on this stuff and I got my clutch on ready to go so I should be ready to go down in there now and then I'm not then I'm really going to find out some stuff as far as the radiator is it going to fit and I'm going to have to maybe displace that uh, air cleaner thing and lower it down a little bit somewhere. So, anyways, I'll just see what happens. My wife says don't get her in a video. That's Mary. She's so sweet. She's helped me out. Mm -hmm. So, she is checking the wires on the inside. But it's a tight one. Going back in, I had to take a little bit of the shifter bracketry here off and loosen the pin so this thing shifted a little bit. And... I was trying to get it in. I'm trying to think about hooking Actually, up that duct. What's that, Mary? That's a good position. Ahead. What? I don't know how you're going to get this far ahead. <laughs> My wife says don't get her in the video. That's Mary. She's so sweet. She's helped me out. Mm -hmm. So she is checking the wires on the inside, but it's a tight one. Going back in, I had to take a little bit of the shifter bracketry here off. And loosen the pin so this thing shifted a little bit. And I was trying to get it in. I'm trying to think about hooking Actually, up that duct. What's that, Mary? That's a good position. Ahead. What? I don't know how you're going to get this far ahead. <laughs> Alright. You can't really see it, but that duct, while well, I got the engine still loose down there, I reached up and hooked that duct up to the, you know, the, the it's a black circular duct that goes to the cooling shroud, plastic piece that cools the rotors. I mean, it's going to be hard to get to, so I hook that up now. And I might even consider trying to hook up some alternator wires. And then I'm going to drop it a little bit and re-hook it, because see, I got it, the hook kind of offset here. I had to re-hook it to make it dive down. 
like at an angle. So I'll probably lower it down so it sets on something and rehook it to level it out and try to get it in there. Well, it's in there, sitting flat in there. I forgot the, the front is kind of tight. I tell you, tightening up my alternator bracket is going to be tough. I might have to take off the, the bottle or something to get in there. If I, but it's tight right now, but I mean, it just looks tight. And uh, this front bolt goes in the front. Kind of got to remember which side this flat little lock tang went on. I'll just look in. Uh, uh, I got some books I can look in there. Try to, it's tight getting that front bolt in there too, but it fits. I mean, it looks like the hood might fit. I'll try the hood. The radiator kind of centers itself. It doesn't fill the whole thing, but it centers itself. And on the inside, you know, I'm sitting in the right spots there. Yeah, I'm glad I put the clutch in because it looked like that would not have gone in after the fact. And let me make sure my battery tray will go back in. I, it should. So if not, I guess I might be able to do something different on that. So. Well, kind of what I thought here. See, if I put that air cleaner assembly on there, the hood doesn't go down. But, if I take it off, hood, the hood will go down. So, like Rock Doctor was telling me, maybe I could remotely put this somewhere else, you know, somehow, somehow get it down there somewhere different, and then I still have to fabricate the exhaust manifolds there too, so I'm still not totally out of the woods yet in this thing. 